next week on Collector's Call. Every day I come down here and I look at everything and I can't believe that I have it. Meet a lifelong fan and major collector of the legendary rock band Kiss. My wife calls me an organized Kiss hoarder. Next Sunday at 10, 9 central on MeTV. Okay, so Zach, tell me about all these books. Okay, a lot of these are just tour books and magazines throughout the years. But this one is really cool. This is actually a 1978 Kiss Marvel comic. It was the first time that Kiss came with a comic. And it's supposedly printed in Kiss blood. So they... What? Kiss went, I think it was to Buffalo, to a printing plant. And they literally got their blood drawn. And they poured it in the red ink. So each Kiss comic technically had real Kiss blood in it. I have to believe the blood is in that comic. Oh my goodness, that's kind of creepy. So what are their superhero powers? Well, Gene Simmons can breathe fire. Ace Frehley can disappear. Paul Stanley shoots stuff out of his eyes and Peter Chris has got cat-like strength. Are cats strong? Mine are. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. So where did you find it? I found this at an estate sale. A uh, guy was selling a lot of his private collection and he had some Kiss stuff. He really didn't know what it was worth, then I gave him 20 bucks for it and walked out the door. Yeah, what would you say it's worth? Yeah, it's worth two or three hundred dollars. I think they're kind of hard to come by. I haven't searched for one, but they were certainly early on that way to reaching out to kids. I mean, it's one thing to be a superhero, but to be a superhero and a musician, it's a phenomenon. And it's crazy to think that these guys can pull that off and do it. To this day, they still do it. Thank <laughs> you.